Well, it is less than a week into 2020, but some of those New Year's resolutions are likely already being put to the test. <laughs> Kate Chappell joins us with some tips to make sure you can stick to the goals you set. To not drink soda. <laughs> to get fitter and healthier, eat healthier. In 2020, 38% of Americans plan to make a New Year's resolution. I want to get into masters. That's according to market research group Ipsos. Their survey found the top goals are related to finances, eating healthier, and being more active. Something the Salgado family is already working toward, shooting hoops at the Rauner family YMCA. Spend more time together. I think it's really important as a family. We just don't do enough of it, so that's why we're out here today. Fitness goals often top the list of New Year's resolutions, but they can be hard to stick with. The YMCA is waiving joining fees in January to encourage more people to get in the gym and offering group classes and sports leagues to help others keep you accountable. Being part of a group that encourages one another makes it easier to fulfill the, on those uh, New Year's resolutions. Setting realistic goals that fit your lifestyle can also help, according to Dr. Mark Lofman at Cook County Health. The grand plans really work out. He says ease into transition. Don't start a crazy diet if you're not going to stick with it. And when it comes to sleep, Try something realistic, like seven hours. Try not to gain weight instead of picking a big number to lose and cut screen time. And again, I can't overemphasize a small goal that you can achieve much better than a big one you fail. He says make 2020 the year of small but meaningful changes and make a plan, not just a resolution. It may seem boring to set a goal that you've got a 90% chance of achieving, but it works and you can always stretch goals out. I am going to try that Mediterranean we talked about. The Mediterranean just a diet. Bit of it, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's good. And I know you're a foodie. Food. You love <laughs> food, so <laughs> just to make smart choices when you're eating. There you go. Okay, small steps.